Hello, hello, hello. Oh. <laughs> Tom's knocking everything over on his way back to the, the stage. Happy New Year and welcome to our Monday night, our first Monday night in our sitting room of 2021. 2021. Hooray! Who thought that would ever get here? <laughs> and we're in lockdown. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> it's like Groundhog Day around here. Groundhog Hay. Groundhog Day. Did I say Groundhog Hay? <laughs> Well, oh dear. Well, that's what that's what happens. Anyway, I hope you're well, and um, yeah, we're going to play a nice selection of songs, and we've got some stuff to tell you over the gig. So, yeah, hope you enjoy. I'm going to start off with. In fact, we're doing uh, the first two songs are both by Duke Ellington, so we're having a Duke Ellington mm. moment. Yeah. So, one, two, three. <laughs> For moonlit skies, I never wink back at fireflies. Now that the stars are in your eyes, I'm beginning to see the light. I never went in for afterglow, a candlelight on a mistletoe. Now, when you turn the lamps down. Shadow boxing in the dark. Then you came and caused a spark for a loud fire. Now, never made love by lantern shine. I never saw rainbows in my wine. And now, when your lips are burning. Oh, 
you. That was, it was close to what we talked about. <laughs> wasn't There's always this funny thing when you've rehearsed endings and then you come to the ending and you try and to remember what it was. It's a different day and there's a different feel. A different on. day, a different year. Mm. <laughs> um, that's a great song. I enjoy that song. Um, so, mm. 2021, what a start to it. Um, but we're feeling positive. Yep. And, and the, you know the way you said earlier that we have some news to tell you. Oh, yeah. That's like one of those days when somebody comes to us going, would you like a girl or a boy? Oh, <laughs> you tried to tell me something, Thomas. <laughs> no, but it sounded like really hefty. Oh, no, not that news. Goodness gracious me. Okay. <laughs> God, no. I thought live on the internet. <laughs> no, so things like, you know, we've got, we're getting quite organised with all our <laughs> online <laughs> stuff. It's boring, boring news, but, you know, it's news. Um, yeah, getting organised. So I've put some links, actually, on the, the thing for our video on Facebook. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> thing will do, uh, with links of our different websites and stuff. So there's Tom's website there. You can check out. He's got mm. exciting stuff going on that mm. you can maybe yeah. talk about another point. <coughs> uh, my website, our Bancroft Line website. Um, yeah, we'll talk about some of that later. Anyway, here's another Ellington song called Do Nothing Till You Hear From Me. <laughs> B flat. I was still uh, yeah. Uh, uh, two, three. <laughs> Do nothing till you hear from me. Pay no attention to what's said. Why people tear the seams from? Anyone's dreams is over my head. Do nothing till you hear from me. At least consider our romance. If you should take the word of others that you heard, I haven't a chance. Nothing till you're here for me and you never 
<laughs> That's another one where <laughs> it's a totally different ending than what we were planning on doing. Anyways, that's that's sort of our lives in a way. <laughs> it's all seat of the pants, but it's good. Hmm. Our pants are tough. <laughs> so um, unusually, Tom has brought his five-string Sadowski bass today, which is very nice because mm. it's a lovely bass for me to sing <coughs> and play with. Yeah. Um, and it's interesting how impactive different bases make uh, impactive different bases are on the experience of the singer um, so you know they, they they really do have quite a powerful impact um, this is I, I love this bass it's got great sound yeah. and you have five strings instead of the usual four that's right because I'm greedy yes no I've got an extra high string so I can play it a bit like a guitar Often people with five strings would tune the, a low one, wouldn't they? Tune it low. Yeah. But we have no need for that here. No. It's kind of sub-bass stuff for yes. other purposes. <laughs> anyway, this is one of my songs um, <coughs> that I wrote, th well, actually, it was quite a few years ago, and I think it was 2014. That, that castle place. <coughs> in, yeah, Ardkinglass, which is an amazing country house in over on the west um, somewhere. <laughs> and it's near the Loch Fine Oyster yes, place. Yes, it is. That exa bar. That's exactly where it is. And it's very, very beautiful. Um, so when things open up again, which they will at some point, um, that's a highly recommended place. You can go and stay there and it's really beautiful. So we went there with the Pathhead Music Collective members and had an amazing week there uh, writing music. So this is one of the songs I wrote, which is um, unusually for me, one without lyrics. It's called Friday Morning in Ardkin Glass.
Yeah. And that's for Nigel. Yep. So, um, this next song is by the amazing Kate Bush. Mm -hmm. And we started exploring it last year, which is not that long ago. <laughs> and we're continuing to explore it, trying different feels and finding different ways into it. Um, before we do this, because it feels like a babushka kind of a necklace. Oh, yeah. I'd just like to... You can't see it because it's right behind my mic. You have to run over and hold it in front of the camera. I can't. Um, anyway, this is a beautiful necklace that I got for my Christmas present from someone not sitting too far away from me. It was really lovely. And it's made by a, a good friend of ours, Liz Dix, who um, during lockdown started making the most beautiful jewellery. It's quite mm -hmm. extraordinary. Um, so I feel very honoured to be a proud owner of one of her pieces of jewellery and I have put her website up on our thing the <laughs> comment section below the, well no it's not the comment section oh. it's the the about the in, the video you know like the bit I fill in the beforehand comment. it's not the, the comments the description. It's the, <laughs> the description that's the word <laughs> we got there eventually I have to have a sip of gin now See, I, was, I, I wasn't looking at my phone earlier for mm. messages. I was just looking to see if anybody had said, turn on the volume. <coughs> it looks like we're okay. Okay, good. Anyway, uh, do recommend, if you like beautiful jewellery, do go and check Liz Dix's um, website. And her, she's on Facebook, and I think I've put her website address on our description, video description. So, Babushka. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
She wanted to test her husband. She knew exactly what to do. A pseudonym to fool him. She couldn't have made a worse move. She sent him scented letters and he received them with strange delight. Just like his wife. Bush, Babushka. Oh, and we've been joined by Ella, our doggy. <laughs> That's the little pitter pattering you can hear. <laughs> scrapey, scrapey. So we're going to finish this little Sadowski <coughs> section because we decided we'd do them in sections so that Tom's hands can. Um, well, you explain. <laughs> it's your hands. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to explain, really, but you. It's a totally different instrument than the double bass, so your hands take a few seconds to adjust and it's just sort of nice to settle into one instrument for a few songs i think yeah <coughs> fair enough so we're going to um now do a great jazz standard <coughs> written by anne ronell 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 r-o-n-e-l-l -L. <laughs> i'm not quite sure how you pronounce I'll it i'll leave you with that one um who was i we did we featured her on this song bef um in last year and i talked a little bit about her um, she's one of the unsung, unsung huh? so female <laughs> songwriters from that era. Um, she wrote Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? And again, we're not going to do that tonight. Um, but we are going to do her Willow Weep for Me.
weeping sympathy Bend your branches down Among the ground And cover me Listen to my plea Listen Thanks, Sadowski bass. That was fun. So um, <clears throat> the next song we're going to do is uh, one of the very famous jazz standards, How High the Moon, which was written by Nancy Hamilton and Morgan Lewis. And I wanted to just to put a bit of a spotlight on to Nancy Hamilton, who sounds like a really interesting character, it has to be said. She was born in... Um, actually, I'm just going to put my glasses on. <laughs> There we are. Well, I'll just get oh. my base then. Oh. <laughs> she was born in, now I don't know how to pronounce this, Sewickley, Pennsylvania. Do you know this? Because you're Canadian. Sewickley, <laughs> Sewickley. I don't know. S E W. Is that where the Wizard of Oz took place? Maybe. S E W I C K L E Y, Sewickley, Pennsylvania, in 1908. And she died in 1985, so not so long ago. And she was a Broadway lyricist, a playwright, an actress, a screenwriter, and an Academy Award winning filmmaker. And she was an important unsung figure of the 20th century musical theater. She was one of the first women to succeed as a lyricist on Broadway. Okay. And <clears throat> she produced, uh, later on in her life, she produced an Academy Award winning documentary on the life of Helen Keller. Um, I, I may have, yeah, may have seen that. Um, she wrote sketches and lyrics for several successful Broadway views. And earlier, earlier in her life, after she'd finished her schooling, she then went and did a Bachelor of Arts in the Smith College in 1930, which was obviously quite an uptight women's college. Um, and she apparently caused a bit of a scandal. She, she'd written a, a review and directed this review called And So On at the college and had received special permission from the president of the college to hire men to play in the show's orchestra because <gasps> obviously men were really not allowed anywhere in the college. And then on opening night, the audience was scandalised because it discovered that um, Nancy Hamilton had incorporated many of the men into on-stage scenes. Oh. So that's quite cool, though. So she was, you know... On the edge. Yeah. And then um, it turns out that she was the lifelong romantic partner of the first lady of the American stage, Catherine Cornell. Mm. So um, I've been reading a little bit of stuff about um, how there, w there was a recent drive to recover gay and lesbian history. So that came out in that. Um, she was a successful, successful lyricist um, of the Intimate Review, which was a genre of musical theatre that flourished during the 30s. And her Intimate Reviews, one for the money in 1939 and two for the show in 1940, which is interesting because I thought that was one line, actually, but it was two different shows. Maybe it was one line, but they made two shows out of it. Well, maybe. <laughs> That was efficient. Um, but both of those intimate reviews launched the careers of people like Jean Kelly. So, you know, she was right, right. right there. She maintained a constant presence during the 30s and 40s as an employer or, or employee on Broadway and um, seemed to thrive by s surrounding herself with an old girl's network of women with whom she maintained overlapping professional and romantic relationships. And this previously unchronicled old girls network, which included women such as Catherine Hepburn, Beatrice Lilly and Mary Martin, they all kind of um, countered the established old boys network of popular entertainment and launched the careers of many well-known women performers, producers, directors, composers and lyricists. So that's great, so they were really you know, creating a force that could stand up to this very patriarchal Well, that seems scene. to be sort of a, a bit of theme in history and politics over the last few years, or many years possibly, is the uncovering of the often history is told from a perspective and only contains a limited amount of things in it, generally dictated by a white male conservative establishment. 
I was working in documentary film and it was about this. And um, so uncovering these sort of trails of, of real networks of business and people and politics mm -hmm. is really exciting. Yeah. Because I suspect that's where the real work yeah. has taken place. A lot of it, yeah. So Nancy Hamilton, um, interesting person, um, most famous for writing the lyrics with um, composer Morgan Lewis to the song, jazz song, How High the Moon, which is what we're going to do now. Oh, a song that we're yeah. going to play. <clears throat> so we're doing the tune and then we're doing the Ella chorus and Thank then we're you. doing all the folding. God, no, it's in D as well. And we're going to go straight in. Okay, one, here we go. Two, we go. One, one, two. Somewhere there's music, how faint the tune. Somewhere there's heaven, how high the moon. There is no moon above when love is far away too. Till it comes true that you love me, yes, I love you. Somewhere there's music, it's where you are. Somewhere there's heaven, how near, how far. The darkest night would shine if you would come to me soon. Until you will have still my heart, how high the moon. How high the moon is the name of the song. How high the moon, though the words may be wrong, we're singing. Hamilton, yay! See, I always play that song in G, so when we play oh, it in sorry. D, it's yeah. like, oh, <laughs> what? Um, but yeah, that was really, I enjoyed 
uh, finding out about Nancy Hamilton. She sounds like real. I would like to have met her. I think she sounds really cool. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so our penultimate song. I'm just thinking about what else I need to tell you because I did make a list. Oh, that's my glasses. I'm trying to get organised here. Um, yeah, so we've updated right. our bancroftonline.com website. Ta-da! Ta-da. And yeah. you can find stuff it's out. It's a bit easier to find stuff there now. It is a bit easier. And we've had some really lovely reviews for our CD Monday nights, so. which we're delighted with. And, we, and, and also it was um, listed in top albums of the year 2020 by Jazz Views, which was a really wonderful start for the new year yeah. for us. Nice. Um, so you can go and see all those reviews and just check out stuff about that. Um, my website's updated, um, sophiebancroft.co.uk. I've got a whole new visuals on it and Tom's tomline.co.uk, which is yep. lots it's got of it. all new stuff and less confusing. And uh, I'm, I'm going to do a project this year. So that I'm starting to sort of roll out previews and a bit of information about that. So watch this space and I'll bring more to the show yeah um tell you about it. there's also my youtube channel which we put these gigs onto afterwards so people not on facebook can watch them um so if you do go there please do subscribe because it's it's really great having people subscribe and then i think you get notified whenever i put another video up there and also um another new thing that i'm doing is i'm putting out some teaching singing teaching videos on my patreon site so um just little snippets of vocal technique th through some of the songs that I love to sing, um, how to sing some of these challenging jazz standards, things like that. So if you're interested in also um, just finding about, out about my creative process, go to my Patreon site and become a patron. It does, it, um, you can do it for the price of a coffee a month. Um, but I'm really enjoying doing that actually each month, just sending stuff off that I've been working on or things that have been inspiring me, things like that. So yeah, do come and check out my Patreon site. Um, yeah, and then we'll talk about our magazine show after this next song, I think. Because that's enough for now. The mag <coughs> stream. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, so we. <laughs> yeah, I probably don't. Um, this is one of my favourite songs of 2020. Oh, glasses. Oh, hang on. Emma's <laughs> on. Just keeping them warm. Yeah, on the top of the chart, it has a big. It says glasses. Yeah. Um, although I probably don't need them now. It's when I was learning it. But I'll put them on. Um, great song written by Leslie Bricus and Anthony Newley. And it's called Pure Imagination. This is for Andy and Alfie, yeah?
look around and view it Anything you want to do it Want to change the world There's nothing to it There is no To compare with pure imagination Living there You'll be free If you truly Wish to be Such a lovely song. Um, and that was Ella. I don't know if you can hear her tip-tapping on the floor. <laughs> she's not actually dancing. It's because she's she's quite elderly now, bless her. And she lies on the wooden floor for some reason because there is rugs and stuff. But she lies on the wooden floor and then her leg kind of slips out. And then she pulls it back in and then it slips out again. And this is a constant thing, doesn't it? Now, and it that noise is... <laughs> that's her doing that. And she's looking at you with love, expecting... Yes some sort of treat I think no, it's very nice having her here well before um, I turn off the stream I'll pick up the laptop and aim, or the camera and aim it at okay the that would be nice Ellie can be the star of the show a little, uh, um, so before we do our last song um, we've come up with a new idea which we're going to do on our last live stream of each month so it will be on the 25th I think of January um, we're going to do a bit of a magazine show which we're quite excited about so we're going to mm. just do um, we'll play live music and we'll also do a couple of little videos of um, just very short videos of bits of creative work that Tom and I are doing. And we're also going to, we're hoping to interview some of our um, colleagues, our Pathhead Music some Collective, Pathhead yeah, um, friends and colleagues, just to find out what they, they are up to creatively, just to hear what they've been doing over this last year and what they are doing now and what they're looking forward to doing. So and hearing, so hearing some of their, uh, mm. the process that they're using to survive yeah. and keep moving forward and yeah, we keep, thought keep the positivity up. Yeah, we thought it would be really interesting. And what we're going to do is we're going to film those ahead of time and do them through our window so that Tom and I are sitting inside and they're sitting outside with... We've got this patio oh, heater. Oh, you gave it away if, in case it doesn't work. Now we're, oh. we're like Oh, well, stuck. that's the plan anyway. Oh. Um, <laughs> so it's going to be called Through the Window. It sounds like Play School, which is a program I used to watch. It, when I was it reminds me of Through the Keyhole, that Keith, oh, yeah, the the Keith keyhole. Lemon thing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <coughs> um, okay, anyway, enough of that. Sorry, we've been doing a lot of rabbiting today. Um, do check out all the links we've put on our description. Now I know the right <laughs> word for it. Um, thank you for listening. Please stay safe and well and happy. And we're going to finish with one of our favourite songs, um, which we recorded on our album. It's called On the Street Where You Live. It's not really in that key, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. Suddenly appear People
stop and stay They don't bother me Cause there's nowhere else on earth That I would rather be Let the time go by I won't care if I can't be here From the street where you live Thank you very much, Tom Lyne, who did all the tech stuff, which is a big job. Yay. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next Monday. We'll be back here next Monday. Yay! And here's Ella. Ella!